But to live radically for God requires courage. It requires courage and boldness. Especially in this day and age called the cancel culture. That if you're not adhering and if you say something that is somewhat offensive to somebody. Oh, I'm offended. Don't talk about Jesus being the only way. That's an offensive. Well, at some point, we may even get locked up for that. So you're going to need courage to live for God. We're going to need courage to stand for truth. To live radically for God. It's going to require for us some boldness. And you remember the early church in the book of Acts, they didn't pray for, they didn't pray for buildings. They didn't pray for more money. You know what they prayed for? They prayed for boldness. Acts chapter 4. They said, God, give us boldness that we can preach. Hallelujah. And it requires courage for us to live for God today. For you to stand. I remember reading a story of a, a young man in high school who was always being pressured to buy drugs from the drug pushers there in the United States. And he just, he didn't know what to say. He simply said, no, I can't buy it anymore because I got no money. And because this man, this young man stood up and said, I got no money, very simply, the other students who were also harassed to buy drugs, they said, hey, if he can stand up, then, then we can say no as well. Yeah. Amen. Because you see, sometimes you might be in a room full of place, you might be in a classroom, and nobody's living for God, nobody's standing up for God, but they're just waiting for somebody to, who has boldness enough, who has courage enough to say, yes, I am a child of God. Yes, I am a Christian. Let me tell you, somewhere in that group, there'll be another young man, a young woman somewhere to say, yes, I want what they've got. I want to live for God as well. If they can do it, come on. Amen. I believe the next generation, you're going to be bolder than ever before. The next generation that God is raising, you don't have to be a follower. You don't have to succumb to peer pressure, but you can stand up and be a leader. You can stand up and be the one who's a voice in the wilderness. Hallelujah. Somebody's waiting for you to stand up. Somebody's watching you. They may not say anything, but somebody's got to do it. Somebody's got to stand. And the Bible says he has not given us a spirit of fear, but of love and of power and of a sound mind. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. This is not popular, but this is Bible. Whatever you got to do, pluck it out if he's going to cause you to offend. And listen, you, nobody can offend you without your permission. Just like nobody can intimidate you without your permission. Offense is not other people's responsibility. That's you. 